We are here with Pat and her adorable foster Cookie. Cookie is a three-year-old purebred Karen Terrier. Uh, she was an owner surrender from a family that was no longer able to keep her in their home. And she is just a bundle of energy. Pat, tell us all about Cookie. Well, Cookie has the true terrier spirit. She loves to chase and play. Uh, we have several dogs of my own in the backyard and she has made friends and they run around and scoot around and have a great old time. She loves to chase chipmunks. She's really good with her house training. Does do a little submissive peeing when you go to pick her up. Uh, you have to be aware of that. But other than that, she does really good. She's really a good eater, so you have to be careful. She's put on a couple pounds since she's been here. So And she's a really petite little girl, yeah, so she's this a is tiny a tiny little girl. I can put her down. So yeah, go can, ahead and put her down and we'll take a look at her. She is uh I would say she Yep, yeah, she is adorable. Hi Cook. Hi she's Cookie. Very friendly. She and barks a little bit when she gets excited when she sees other dogs on a walk, but if you tell her to stop, she will. And I know right now she's in a home, as you said, with several other dogs, and she's doing very well with them. How do you think she would do as an only dog in a family? I think she'd be fine. You know, she likes company. I mean, like anything, a regular work schedule would be good, but they still need to go out and be exercised and, um, you know, have something to do. She's a young dog, so I think, you know, she likes to play and chase, and she'll play with toys. So she needs to be kept busy after uh, when you get home from work. Sure, and I think this is a dog that wouldn't necessarily be a great dog for a retiree that was looking for a lap dog. This is a dog that needs to be engaged. Uh, I would say she definitely could use some obedience training, correct? Yes, yes. Great, so we should mention that with our young Karens, when they get adopted out, we expect the family to follow through with obedience training, and in fact, we do make that a condition of adoption. A very um, sweet temperament, very, very kind dog. She's a very, she's a very sweet dog. Terrific. I should mention she has not been exposed, as far as we know, to children, but I think she would probably do fine with older children, children over the age of 10, as long as they were, were respectful of her. Um, let's see what else. Um, what about a fence yard, Pat? Do you think she would do best with a home with a fence yard? Well, because she likes to run. She likes to run and chase. So if there's a fence yard, you can throw a ball and she can chase it or whatnot. But if not, then she just has to go on a few walks a day because they, they do get bored. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I should mention that Cookie is in a foster home in Woodridge, Illinois. We absolutely consider out-of-state applicants. However, they must be willing to fly in to finalize the adoption or to drive. And Woodridge, Illinois is very close to the Chicago area. Pat and Cookie, thank you so much. That was a great interview. See you, Cook.